Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a esta reacción al Resident Evil Showcase de enero 21 de 2021. Vamos a ver qué nos espera. No sé, seguramente fechas de preorden, de lanzamiento, etc. Vamos a ver qué hay. Teniendo calificación. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> that was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5. I'm happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current gen as well. Last gen, no correct. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 day and date with PlayStation 5. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Okay. Resident Evil Village will be sí, available worldwide on May 7th, 2021, with pre-orders kicking off today. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have the digital deluxe edition, available on all platforms. 
Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a collector's edition for consoles that includes all the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, poster, and art book. And for those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Bundle. This lets you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. All right, I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Man blood. <laughs> now, let's take a look at him. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting, so you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Uh-huh, 
<laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. one way to end the video. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Oh. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise, with the very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games, to CG movies, to live action Hollywood films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a close beta test. The test won't happen until later next week, but I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. Is that CG? No, I'm cel shading. Oh, Paris, being Borderlands. Oh, but it's a bit more difficult. Our reverse is one of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village, so be sure to follow the Resident Evil oh, social channels for the latest news. Jack, no. And check out the official website for even more details. On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing the celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2.
For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these.皆様こんにちは。バイオハザードの映像作品にてプロデューサーを務めています、カッコンの小林博之です。昨年発表しました、フルCDCGアニメーションバイオハザードインフィニットダークネスについてお話したいと思います。ゲームでおなじみのレオ